New at 6.30, we get our hands on never-before-seen surveillance video and pictures from a fatal officer-involved crash in Clovis. Joe Bartels is live in Roswell tonight with new details on the investigation. Joe. Tom, investigators have released hundreds of pictures and documents to us that detail the crash investigation of Officer Steven Gallegos. We've also learned a new DA is handling the case. The Clovis Police Department has finally released the initial report of the fatal crash that killed Mary Castillo and seriously injured Edith Payton. This grainy surveillance tape is the only known video that shows Officer Gallegos running a stop sign and crashing into a pickup. The officer's onboard dash cam was also running but doesn't show what happened, only the aftermath. 135 close. Right. Pictures taken right after the crash were also released. Airbag data from the cruiser shows Gallegos was driving about 56 miles per hour just a second before the crash. The speed limit was 35. As part of the investigation, the police department moved the vehicles to try and recreate the moment of impact. In the reports, the first officers on scene said Gallegos asked them to find his cell phone. During an interview after the crash, investigators asked Gallegos why his call log was deleted. He said it was something he did all the time and deleted it right after the crash. Cell phone records show Gallegos was talking on his cell phone for 30 seconds before the crash. Officer Gallegos told investigators he was not on the phone at the time of the crash. Officer Gallegos was charged with vehicular homicide last month. The DA in Curry County has now turned over the case to prosecutors in Quay County to avoid a conflict. Reporting live in Roswell, Joe Bartels, KOB Eyewitness News 4.